What is the twin test for bail under Prevention of Money Laundering Act? Section 45 of the PMLA, which deals with bail, states that no court can grant bail for offences under this law, but mentions a few exceptions. The negative language in the provision itself shows that bail is not quite the rule, but the exception under PMLA. Unlike in the ordinary criminal laws where bail is the rule and not the exception. The provision makes it mandatory to hear the public prosecutor in all bail applications and when the prosecutor opposes bail, the court is required to apply a twin test. These two conditions are first, that there are reasonable grounds for believing that the accused is not guilty of such offence and second, that he is not likely to commit any offence while on bail. The constitutional validity of the twin test was challenged in a 2017 ruling in Nikesh Tarachand Shah v. Union of India. The Supreme Court struck down the bail provisions as unconstitutional on the ground that the burdensome conditions were not a reasonable classification. By a subsequent amendment, Parliament put these provisions back in the law through the Finance Act 2018. Legal experts have questioned the logic of equating money laundering with stringent anti-terror and narcotics laws. The government has argued in court that the persons who are involved in money laundering are influential, intelligent and resourceful, and the crimes which are committed with full premeditation. As per the Vijay Madan Lal Chaudhary judgment, the twin test has to be rigorously applied by all courts, that is, by special courts trying money laundering offences as well as constitutional courts. It would also apply in the same way for both regular bail and anticipatory bail. However, an accused can still get the benefit available under Section 436A of the Code of Criminal Procedure under which he is entitled to bail after serving half of the maximum sentence as an under trial. This means that in most money laundering cases, if the Enforcement Directorate, which is the investigating agency, is not able to finish the trial within three and a half years, the accused is entitled to bail irrespective of the twin test. For more informative videos like this, follow Exact IAS.